If you know exactly what you want to do, something that 100% requires a degree like doctor, lawyer, mechanical engineer, then obviously go to college. College isn't a scam for you. But honestly, most degrees that aren't STEM or medical is most likely a scam. Any degree that ends in studies or sociology or communication or liberal arts or philosophy or ethnic studies. And listen, I like philosophy. I consider myself a bit of a modern day philosopher, if you will. But as far as a degree goes, that is probably one of the most useless piece of crap degrees out there. Anything arts or humanities or ends in studies is 100% a scam. But if you know exactly what you want to do, something that 100% requires a degree, then obviously go to college, right? But the problem is, there's a lot of people that go just because that's what you're supposed to do. If you don't know what you want to do, the last thing you should be doing is giving money to a four-year university, just kind of screwing around, drinking, smoking, doing drugs, partying, living the college lifestyle. Like a lot of people think that when you turn 18, you have to go right into college, when in reality, that's not the case. It's way more beneficial to take a gap year, go intern, go work, go volunteer, go take time to learn about things that you're interested in. Go learn a trade or a skill. You could also go to community college and transfer those credits to a four-year university. It's way more beneficial to do that instead of wasting thousands of dollars, committing four years, throwing yourself in a bunch of debt, and just wasting a bunch of time. But the main reason why people just jump into college is because they don't want to feel left behind. They want to party, they want that lifestyle. And this is how people end up living the college lifestyle just to cope with the fact that they don't know what they're doing and they feel like they're just wasting their time. It's like you're on the phone with your mom telling her that you're studying for a midterm, meanwhile you're pre-gaming for a house party that night. Or if you're a girl, you're telling your mom that you're studying for your finals on a Sunday, meanwhile you're heading to a music festival to go pop some perks, take some Zans, and have sex behind a porta potty. A lot of people end up living the college lifestyle to fill their time because they don't really know what else to do. You're trying to distract yourself from the fact that you don't really know what you're doing or what any of this is for. And for a lot of people, this is how college just becomes four years of escapism. And because you're in college, it gives you the illusion that you're being productive. And then four years goes by, you come out with a useless degree and then you're reminiscing on your college days of partying. Over 52% of college graduates have jobs that are unrelated to their degree. Including me, I'm one of them. I remember when I was 18 and I was still in high school, but I had to pick my major. And I remember thinking, I don't, I don't really know. I was just kind of just an average student. Graduated high school with a 3.5, didn't particularly have any talents. I liked playing basketball, going to church, hanging out with my friends, but I wasn't really particularly good at anything. Like, I don't know, I'm just a mediocre 18 year old kid. I mean, there are some exceptional students that know what they want to do real early on in life. They have a talent, they have a skill, they know what they're interested in. But I wasn't one of them. I was just an average kid, extremely average grades, nothing special. So I ended up just picking the most generic major I could possibly think of, business econ. I thought it was pretty safe, something I could work with. I was okay at stats and math. And business is something that's very general, so I could work with it. A year and a half goes by, the most miserable time ever. I hated my classes, hated my econ classes, hated my math classes. It was terrible. So a year and a half in, I started looking for other options, other things I could do, other things I'm interested in. I ended up going to some workshop or some conference held by some CIA agent. And then just based off that one workshop, I was like, oh wow, I could do something in forensics or interrogation. I'd be great at that. And I'd look cool in a suit and sunglasses. So then I switched majors from business to political science, law and administration. But then those aspirations realistically only lasted like about a year. And at that point I was too far deep in. I wasn't gonna switch my major again. And then I just graduated with that degree. And bro, I don't even know what I learned because most lectures and discussions always just broke out into a Trump tirade. Like I'm in California and literally they could not stop talking about Trump every single lecture, every single discussion of every single political science class. And when I graduated, it didn't work for a while because it was in the middle of the pandemic. And then after some time passed by, I just ended up working at an autonomous vehicle company, completely unrelated to my degree. And a lot of people are in the same situation. A lot of people graduate with a degree and do something completely different just because they didn't know what they wanted to be when they were 18. And this is where I break down the scam aspect of universities. Most of the classes you take are completely useless. It's like most of these general education classes we took in high school. It's like, why are we doing this again? And because of these classes that have nothing to do with anything, a lot of people graduate late, right? It takes them five years, six years which is more money in the pockets of universities. A lot of people switch majors because there's a lot of useless degrees. If we're being completely honest, most 18 year olds don't even know what they're gonna do this weekend, let alone what they wanna do for the rest of their life. And there's so many useless degrees and classes that people just get trapped up in. 
and let's really break this down for a second let's break down exactly what you're doing because not many people talk about this like people that talk about college is a scam they don't bring this up let's say you're a business major right and you have to take calculus as one of the prerequisites and you have to learn how to factor derivatives so you're in class you're in lecture with a professor with 400 students and the professor is just regurgitating some old powerpoint that's like 20 years outdated you don't really understand the way he's teaching it so you go home and what do you do you use google you use youtube how to factor derivatives so most of the things you learn most of the information you need to know to pass your finals you're self-learning on the internet for free anyways like if you've been to college right or if you're in college right now Ask yourself, what percent of the material are you actually learning by yourself? Most of the process of studying in college is really just quick memorization right before the finals. Tell me I'm wrong. It's just all-nighters and Red Bulls before the midterm, before the finals, etc. And once you're done with the class, you never revisit this material in your life ever again. Like, it doesn't make any sense. As a business major, when are you ever going to factor a derivative in your life? Probably never. And this goes for a lot of majors. Universities, colleges make you take a bunch of random classes that have nothing to do with anything, make you spend all this time, energy, money, resources passing these classes and never revisit this material ever again in your life. And if you disagree and you're like, oh no, some things are useful, tell me this, what percent of what you learned in school actually transferred to your job afterwards? Again, most things that you self-learn anyways on the internet from YouTube, from Google, by yourself. What percent of material that you learned in college actually transferred to what you did afterwards? If you're lucky, maybe 10-15%, but for most jobs, you have to learn from the ground up anyways. If you're lucky, you might find spots and moments where some things you learned transferred over. But that's not the case for most people, most jobs, you just learn from the ground up. So that leads us to the question of, what is it you're actually paying for? An old professor to regurgitate an old PowerPoint that's 20 years outdated? To take exams? to force you to buy textbooks that the professors themselves write. You know, it's the first day of class, they pass out a syllabus, make you buy their own textbook. It's a secondary income for them. I mean, I respect the grind, I'm not gonna lie. I respect the funnel. But genuinely, what exactly are you paying for if most things are free on the internet? And you're learning it from the internet by yourself anyways. To live in dorms, to join clubs, to live the college lifestyle, a few house parties, do drugs, drink, have sex. Because if you think about what the main selling point of American universities are, it's the college lifestyle. It's what appeals to 18 year olds. It's why no one wants to take a gap year. It's why they want to jump right in college because they want to be away from mom and dad. They want to party. They want to drink. They want to have fun. If you look at a lot of these college ads and university ads, what they're trying to sell you on is the culture of their campus, not the education, not the classes, not the professors. The main selling point is the culture and the college lifestyle. Remember, first and foremost, colleges and universities are a business. They know that's what excites the 18 year olds coming out of high school. Just think about how many teens start drinking, smoking, having casual sex, doing drugs when they get to college. A lot of them. And that's because that's what you're supposed to do when you get to college, right? It's embedded in the fabric of American universities and college culture. When you think about American universities, you're thinking about, like if you've ever watched American Pie, that's what most 18 year olds think of when they think of college and universities. And it's like you learn how to live off eating trash, you learn how to sleep at 4 or 5 a.m., how to pull all-nighters and cram info into one day, smashing chicks, or if you're a girl taking dicks. That actually kind of rhymed. Like, this is the culture of Western universities. This is why graduates outside of STEM or medical do so terribly. And it's also why community college isn't a lot of options for a lot of 18-year-olds, because they want to jump into university. They want to have fun. And I'll tell you I know I'm right. Colleges in a lot of Eastern countries are a lot different than American universities. I was on a date with this Indian girl from Germany about four or five months ago. And she was in America as an au pair, but she was telling me about the universities in Germany. And apparently universities over there are extremely cheap, but they don't have clubs, they don't have frats, sororities. There's no college lifestyle, like it's just school. And I think the same goes for universities in China or Korea or a lot of these Eastern countries. Their curriculums don't really have bullshit majors like we do. And it's not sold upon or focused on the college lifestyle. What I'm saying is that it's not American pie over at Peking University. I can tell you that for sure. And also something else I forgot to talk about was inflation. The cost of tuition for universities has inflated like 1500% since like the 1980s, which is way beyond the housing market. And the reasons why colleges and universities can just inflate the prices is because they have a monopoly. And they have a monopoly because it's what you're supposed to do in the education system. You're supposed to go to college. People don't really offer you any alternatives. You kind of just have to find it on your own. 
it makes you feel a lot more safe just to go to college, just to go to a four-year university. And this is why the cost of tuition has inflated the way it has been. College degrees are becoming more and more common, and this is just due to the exponential increase in population. Every year the population grows, so there's going to be more young people, meaning there's gonna be more people going to college. The more people that go to college, the more people that have degrees. The more people that have degrees, the less scarce it becomes. And the less scarce degrees become, the less valuable it becomes. Scarcity is directly correlated to value. So what happens as degrees become less valuable? This is gonna incentivize more people to go to graduate school to go get a master's just so you can get ahead of those people with a degree. And the worst part about this is, if you're a creative with immigrant parents, you're kinda screwed. Because you can see all this going on about universities and colleges and all the negative aspects. It doesn't matter, to immigrant parents, school and college is everything. They don't understand where the world is going, they don't understand technology, they don't understand how fast the world is changing, they don't understand AI, they don't understand the useless aspects of college or why it's becoming less and less valuable to have a degree. It's just go to college or I'll beat your ass and you're a failure. Honestly, I can go on forever, but to summarize, I'm not gonna 100% say that college is a scam because there's many universities in different countries that are way different than American universities. Also, you have STEM and medical field that requires a college degree no matter what. But let's be honest, all that gray area in between, all those useless majors and useless classes, all that is a scam. If you're young, before you throw yourself in a four-year university into debt, waste time partying in college, doing nothing but escapism, catching bodies, doing drugs, drinking, getting high, getting wasted, consider taking a year or two off. Consider interning, working, volunteering, being an assistant in a field that you're interested in, learning a trade, a skill. Like really be intentional with your time, your energy, and your resources. College is always going to be there. You can go to community college anytime you want. Transfer your credits. Like, we gotta break the stigma of you have to go to college right after high school. Because once that's broken, universities lose power. And when that happens, naturally, cost of tuition will go down. And if nothing else, please remember this. Everything you learn is on the internet. For free. And you self-learn most of it in college anyways. The only difference is you're paying thousands of dollars for some old professor and an outdated PowerPoint to say it to you, who's hard to understand in a lecture that you're probably not going to anyways. Just catching bodies, telling your mom that you're studying while you're headed to Coachella. Universities hold a monopoly because it's what you're supposed to do. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you. I love you. Make sure you stay true, and I'll talk to you real soon. Peace. You learn how to live off eating trash. You learn how to... <laughs>